this lesson will focus on opposites and absolute value and just looking at the number line to extend those ideas. So opposites are numbers that are the same distance away from zero, but they're on different sides of the number line. So take a look at this example. Zero is in the middle of the number line, and negative 4 and positive 4 are opposites because negative 4 is 4 units to the left of 0, and positive 4 is 4 units to the right of 0. Let's do a quick check for understanding on opposites. In your notes, I'd like you to record your answers to these problems. Pause if I don't give you enough time. So A, what is the opposite of 7? B, what is the opposite of negative 3.4? And C, what is the opposite of 0? Make sure you have everything written down, otherwise pause. Okay, the answers are A is negative 7, B is 3.4, and C is 0. Absolute value is our second term, and this is probably a new term to you this year. Absolute value is known as the number's distance away from zero. So you're looking for how far is the number away from zero. We denote absolute value by these vertical bars. So if I have these vertical bars around n, you read that as the absolute value of n. Um, usually we have a number in there. You can have a variable like I did for the example. So we'll look at a couple examples on a number line. The first one, if you look at the red, we're looking at the number negative 3. And negative 3, if you count it from 0, it's 3 spaces away from 0. So it said that the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. If you look in the blue, we have 0 itself. The absolute value of 0 is 0 because 0 is no spaces away from itself. It's right there. If you look at 5 in the green, the absolute value of 5 is 5 because 5 is 5 spaces away from 0. All right, let's do a check for understanding on absolute values. So again, try to solve these problems. Put the answers in your notes. A, what's the absolute value of 1 half? B, what is the absolute value of negative 6.38? C, what's the absolute value of 0? OK, record. Pause if you need more time. The answers you should have gotten are A is 1 half, B is 6.38, and C is 0. 0 is special because it's the only time that you have um, a number that's not positive there. I want you to notice that none of these answers are negative. Anyone who's ever watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off is going to realize you can't travel a negative distance no matter how hard you try. That's a story for another day. This time I hope you have the basics of opposites and absolute value down.